Instant reaction, Penn State basketball lands another 2025 uh, recruit. This time it's Mason Blackwood, the 2025 shooting guard out of New Hampton Prep up in New Hampshire, currently ranked number 138 overall in the recruiting rankings. Uh, number 40 overall shooting guard, but technically six foot seven. Probably going to grow out of that a little bit uh, as he still has some room to grow, a little bit uh, more room on his frame to kind of become that two slash, probably a three man at that next level is probably his best bet. But going through the offer list, uh, 18 different offers. Uh, Penn State ended up beating out a lot of different programs. Yes, the final two was Penn State and Rutgers. So number one, good win over a Northeast program in Rutgers who just had number two recruiting class last cycle. Um, but also beat out uh, Northwestern, who was going to host him for an official visit on the 20th. Ended up canceling that and committing to Penn State today. Uh, also beat out Oklahoma, Georgetown, Marquette, Boston College, Fordham, Texas A&M, Virginia, Virginia, West Virginia, Washington, Wake Forest, Virginia Tech. Um, the list goes on and on. There's a lot more smaller schools as well. Uh, Mason Blackwood, actually a New York native, Rochester, New York native, played for City Rocks AAU program uh, in the EYBL circuit this past summer. Doesn't do anything super flashy, but an overall really good player, very consistent when it comes to rebounding, very consistent on the glass, averaged 5.6 this EYBL circuit this uh, this April, May, and June, and July, because of uh, the Peach Jam, obviously. Uh, averaged 12.5 points, 1.6 assists, just an overall pretty solid get for Penn State. Um, this is the second top 150 kid for uh, Mike Rhodes since, he's joined the, since he took over the program last year. Uh, joining, who was it? Miles Goodman, who was ranked number 80 in the 2024 cycle. Now, um, just watching his tape a little bit more and more, that six foot seven frame kind of tells me he's a little bit more of a three than a two, like I said before. Very athletic, pretty decent on the perimeter, actually. Um, pretty consistent rebounder, above average athlete, uh, pretty good motor, and just has a really good knack for finishing in traffic. Uh, not afraid of the contact when going up for the layups, when, when crashing a lane. Um, nothing crazy when it comes to scoring numbers, but he shows, shows a lot of flashes of a really solid player, uh, more of a complimentary piece than a star player. And that's perfectly fine because Penn state is, uh, <laughs> might end up having a star player sooner rather than later, as he also took an official visit to Penn state this, uh, what was it? Two weeks ago, September 7th, along with Caden Mingo, who is, uh, and also a New York guy, number 43 in the class and still rising in the class rankings too. Uh, but it sounds like Penn State's doing really good right there, and those two really hit it off on that visit. Mike Rhodes is doing a really good job of selling these kids, and this honestly could be a very talented 2025 class if you add Mingo to go along with Blackwood, and I even mentioned Justin Hauser, the uh, the big man out of Malvern Prep over in uh, Malvern, Pennsylvania, but oh, I'm sorry, uh, Phelps School in Malvern, Pennsylvania, but uh, yeah, just a really solid get for Penn State. A little bit of a shorter uh, shorter episode here, but just wanted to get on here and offer an instant reaction. Really good kid, really good prospect, number 138 in the country, um, and something to keep an eye on because, like I said before, he's very close with Caden Mingo, and this might not be all for Penn State as they're actually uh, almost, you can argue, in the lead for Caden Mingo and add Caden Mingo, Mason Blackwood, Justin Hauser. It's a pretty damn good class and probably ranks within the top 20 in the in the nation, but... For me and everyone else here at Happy Valley Insider, that's another instant reaction edition of the Penn State 365 podcast, signing off.